Have you ever wanted to time travel? Me too. Unfortunately, that's not what this does, but it's still pretty cool. Hi YouTube, this is Chaos Cortec. My name's Garrett, and this is a flux capacitor. Not a real one, but a pretty cool 3D printed one. And, lights up. I'm going to show you how to build it. Now I designed, modeled, 3D printed, and assembled this myself. So there's quite a few steps involved, and I'll try to walk you through them the best I can. I'll put all of the information, including links to all the parts I used, down in the description. So check there if you want more info. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You're super jealous of my purple walls. We just moved into a new house and we haven't had a chance to paint yet, so bear with me. So first, we'll run down a list of parts you'll need to complete this project. Of course, you're going to need a 3D printer. Here I have my Robo 3D, but any 3D printer will work for this. And of course, with 3D printers, you're going to need some filament. Here I have some Hatchbox PLA, white, but the color doesn't matter too much because we're going to be painting it anyway. And you can use ABS or any other materials. It, it should work just fine. And then I also have some clear PLA because there's a few pieces on top that we want the LEDs to shine through. Then we will be working with some small electronics, so you'll need a soldering iron and some solder. And when doing this type of work, a third hand can be very useful. Now for the electronics side of things, we're going to power it with three AAA batteries to give us 4.5 volts. You'll need a little bit of wire, some LEDs, any color will do, I chose white, and then some 68 ohm resistors to go with the voltage and the LEDs that we have. You'll also need a rocker switch to power the device on and off and then some copper tape to help us make the battery contacts. Now this is what we'll be using to assemble it. You'll need some scissors, some wire cutters, and needle nose pliers or tweezers will come in very handy. We'll need some glue. I'm using crazy glue that I picked up at a local store. And traditionally gluing 3D prints isn't your best option, but for something like this that won't be put through a lot of stress, it'll work just fine. And then we'll use some acrylic paint to paint it. Uh, you don't need anything fancy here, you can just go to your local hobby store and pick up some acrylic paint, it should work fine. And of course with that you'll need some paint brushes. Um, I used a couple of magnets to help keep the lid on, but this is optional. You'll need access to a 2D printer to print some labels, and then some laminate to make them a little more rigid so we can glue them to the top. And then we'll also cut a piece out of this for the lid. Now we need to design the different parts of the flux capacitor, and in order to do that, we'll head on over to Tinkercad.
Okay, now that we've got all these models designed, let's start printing them. Okay, so now I've got all the pieces printed out, and I'll just run through what each piece is. So these are the lid pieces, and the reason I printed them in two pieces like this was so I could get this lip on here and give it the high amount, highest amount of detail, because otherwise, you can see on the bottom layer it's quite a bit thicker and just not as pleasing, and when you paint it, these lines become much more apparent. So I printed it like this, and I'll just glue it and the final product will look like this and then it will just sit over the top of it like that. Then this will be the cover for the inside. And this is the biggest piece, it's the, the outer case um, and this is where all the electronics will be. We'll put this over it as a cover for the electronics so they're not exposed and then the lid will go over top of this. And these right here I'm not sure what they're actually called, but I call them the bridges because they sit over the top of it and they cross the LEDs. And as you can see, there's a hole right there for the LEDs. Um, and they will just sit on top of here like this. So you can kind of see the, the flux capacitor coming together there. Then these I call the plunger. So they just stick out of the top of it. And I printed them in two halves at the highest quality I could just because they are such tiny pieces. So I'll paint them and then um, glue them together like this, and they will sit on top. I'll, they'll sit on top of these. And the final parts are what I printed out of the clear PLA, and these are the um, what will cover the LED. And the light shines through them pretty well, actually. It's pretty cool stuff. And these were printed at high quality as well, just to get the uh, the roundness of it a bit more detail and not so jagged. So these are the printed parts. Now the next step is painting it and I'm a lousy painter so I'm going to pass it on over to my wife. She'll paint it and then we'll come back and start putting it together. See, the base is just completely gray and this is the, the lid to cover the electronics and you don't need to paint the bottom part because it's not going to be visible so just the top and for the lid almost completely gray just this black lip around the top the two little plunger pieces when you put them together and as you can see this part is red and this part is yellow then these bridge pieces 
you'll need gold for the big round part and then gray for the, the rest of it. And then we leave the clear pieces as is for the LEDs to shine through.